There's something to be said about our society and the way that we manage the problems that we have in our lives. We oftentimes, we're so hurt, we're so damaged a lot of the times that we don't recognize when help is right in front of us. We think that help looks a certain way and if it isn't dressed the right way, if it isn't in the right skin tone, if it's not looking the way that we want it to look, we'll deny it. But a lot of the times when help meets hurt, the only way for that union to take place is if we recognize it for what it is. I know that friend is bothering you. I know that person is, is nagging you. You think they're nagging you because they're speaking truth, but you're saying that they're judging you. You're saying that you don't have time to hear what they're saying. You're saying that you're pushing them away. You're dismissing them. But all that's going to do is it's going to cause for another person to come into your life and they're going to speak something, if not the same, something very similar. And it's going to continue to happen over and over and over again. That is the pursuit of God on you. He's sending you your help, but you're so hurt that you can't recognize that it's help. There's one thing in our life that we need to be able to take a look at, and we need to be able to take a look at those scars that we have. Did we properly heal those scars? Did those scabs, did they scab up? Did they, uh, did they hurt when we still press on them, even though they happened years ago? If that is the case, then we need to be able to reach out for the help that is available to us and recognize it for what it is. How do we recognize it for what it is? How do we know when someone is really there to help us or something is really there to help us? Ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. Ask God, God, who is this person? What is the reason for this happening to me? What are you trying to teach me? What do I need to learn out of this situation? There's something to be said when we make the assumption that the thing that is in front of us is not there to help us because it doesn't look like what we think it should. We need to get out of that mindset and we need to get out of it fast. We need to realize that help doesn't always look like help or it may not look like the way that we think that it should look. And if we continue to keep that mindset of it looking a certain way, we'll miss it every time. But the good thing about it is God is graceful. He's merciful. He knows that we will mess up. He knows when we're going to mess up before we mess up. He knows the, our character. And he has that level relationship with us because he created us. He knows the fact that we are going to, 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 to miss the mark. He's already calculated the missed marks that we're going to make in our life before we make them. But with that being said, let us continually seek after God, getting to know him because he already knows you. You need to get to know him. He wants you to get to know him. So that way you know when someone has been sent from him versus when the devil has sent someone. That is the key indicator. That is the key way for us to know when our hurt has met our help. And when our hurt has met our help, there's multiple solutions. There's so much good that can come from it. They can help you heal. The situation can help you heal. The, the pain that you're experiencing is the, is the pain of rehabilitation, not of agony, not of repeated cycles. A lot of times we also think our help may be a repeated cycle until we take the time to really evaluate what's before us. Then in that moment, we're able to say, oh, wait a minute, I thought that this was another repeat offender, but this is someone who has the key to unlock all of what I've been through. Let me let them turn this key in me to open, open me up and fix this area in my life or help me fix this area in my life. We got to do better than that, y'all. We have to do better than that right now. And, and we can do that by taking the time to get to know God for who he is and being able to realize that he's very intentional about what he does, when he does it, and how he does it. But that's all about relationship building. It's, it's about communication. It's about building trust. It's about building confidence in your partner. All the things that we look for in a romantic partner, it mimics the very same thing that we are looking for in God. But we just, some of us just don't know it. But it's not too late to get to know it, to get to where you need to be in your life. Please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate the, the support, y'all. I love the time that I get to talk before you. 
I love being able to encourage you. I love being able to uplift you based upon the things that God has put through me. And I hope that you have an excellent, excellent, blessed, marvelous, fantastic, terrific Tuesday.